Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Measurement in a Minute. I'm your host, Justin Kozak with Lakeside Process Controls. Today's video, we're continuing our discussion around rose mount and micromotion flow meter technologies. In particular, we're going to talk about Coriolis flow meters and how they measure mass flow directly. To do this, we have to understand what the Coriolis effect is. Now, the Coriolis effect on a grand scale, if we look at Earth, has to do with the fact that Earth is constantly rotating. And what you'll notice if you were standing, say, at the equator, if you were to throw a ball, let's say, to your friend in North America, that ball would travel to the right. If you flip this and you did it with someone maybe in Brazil, that ball would travel to the left. And that has to do with the rotation of the Earth and the fact that uh, the Earth is traveling at different speeds as you travel, um, you know, northern or in the southern hemispheres. Same principle that applies to why your toilets flush one way in one continent versus another. Now we take advantage of this effect when we utilize Coriolis flow meters. To understand this, we'll play this video to help illustrate it. Uh, if we have a tube, let's say it's full of water or a garden hose in this case, and we are rotating it, we're oscillating it. Once flow travels through this garden hose in this case, you'll see an oscillation between the left and the right side there. Uh, and that is the Coriolis effect introduced on this garden hose. And we take advantage of this with Coriolis flow meters and measure and quantify how much of a Coriolis effect we are seeing. Now the difference is we use two tubes instead of one garden hose. And the reason for this is so that we can measure a delta between the left side and the right side. Um, and so what you can see is the, the flow travels in, down, and then back up and out kind of in that U shape. And that's on purpose. We have those two tubes fixed at a point near the top so that they can free hang. Then in the center, we have a drive coil, which drives it to a consistent frequency. Um, it's gonna be a lot more accurate than someone trying to shake it manually like you see in that garden hose. And what happens when we have no flow traveling through this is we see that left and that right side are in sync with one another. And we see those pickoffs, which is what we measure the Coriolis effect with, are tapping together at the same time. And you'll see there's no phase shift difference between that left and that right pickoff. And what happens when we introduce flow, we see the Coriolis effect. We see a deviation between the left side and the right side. They become out of sync with one another. And that phase shift difference is directly measured and that is what is directly proportional to mass flow rate. So we put it through our calibration lab, we determine how many milliseconds equals a specific mass flow rate, and then it is a linear equation from that point on. Should also clarify that it is not that extreme in this case, that is just for illustration purposes. If you remove the cover, which you can't do, but if you did remove the cover, you would not actually really see them moving. You could feel them vibrating, but you wouldn't see them moving. And that's how we directly measure mass flow with our Coriolis flow meters. Should you have any questions about Micromotion or Rosemount flow meters or any other of our products, please reach out to us at www.lakesidecontrols.com. Thanks and have a great day.